Hi Pisces, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness, the guidance, and the possible outcomes for the week. I'll also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Divine love. So a beautiful card. You can see the interconnected rings here and the portal here through the wall. And, and divine love can come in many different ways. It can be with someone else, your, your partner, your love, your soulmate, the person that makes you happy, that makes you feel fulfilled and content and fortunate. Or it could be love for life itself. <clears throat> Excuse me. It could be love for your children, your passions, your career, love for yourself. But divine love is accessible to all of us. And we all have the right to be loved. We all have the right to love others and to be loving people. And uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing to have that emotional connection, to have the depth of that bond that love brings. And a true love is unconditional. There's no leverage involved. It's just, uh, you know, you just feel that you will do anything uh, in order for to, in order to have the love continue. So divine love is a beautiful message and it's to tap into the love into your heart, to show love to the people that you surround yourself with, whether it's your husband, wife, partner, best friend, you know, to give your love, you're going to get back that love. And the universe wants us to have love and to experience love in whatever form it may be. Loving your animals, loving your hobbies, your pursuits, the things that you do, loving a career, making a difference. Beautiful card to have for this week. beauty. So interesting card and beauty is again, I, I'm going to connect it back to love. Beauty is comes from the inside, a beautiful heart, a beautiful soul, a beautiful presence, someone that is kind and giving and aware and, uh, intuitive and empathetic to others around you know that's beauty beauty um, comes from within and uh, along those lines you know when you look at society and we look at Vogue magazine and Vanity Fair and all of this things about fashion you know if high fashion or certain way of dressing brings you happiness, then that's awesome because that's, that's bringing joy into your life. And, uh, you know, some people don't wear a lot of makeup. Others wouldn't dr dream of going out of the house. I'm talking about women, uh, wouldn't go out of the house without their makeup on. So it's whatever works for you. You know, whatever makes you feel beautiful, then do it. No judgment, just, you know, to each his own, whatever works in your life to, for, to make you feel beautiful. And maybe it's through your words, through your actions, um, you know, being fit, however you define it, it's important for you. 
And who am I to talk to someone else to say, well, that's really not, they're really not beautiful. How, do I, how would I know if I'm just looking at someone and I don't know them? So do the things that make you feel good, that make you feel your best, that bring you to your best self, whatever that may be. But beauty comes from within. It comes from having a loving heart, from being gentle and kind and compassionate and aware. That's, uh, that, that's what draws people in. That's the hook that will uh, attract you to a person that you meet. You'll just think of their beautiful essence, everything about them. soul power. Always remember, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. And again, it ties in nicely with beauty is from within and your heart and who you are is your soul. And, uh, People can see, I think that people intuitively know what's going on with another person when they interact. First impressions, that first feeling that you have, that sense. Doesn't mean we're always right with that first impression. We may be way off, but you know, there's something, there's an energy that we feel when you're in someone else's space and you get to know them, you feel their energy and is that energy a good match for you so soul power it's it's empowerment for yourself to be true to who you are and to um you know it's all about the insides what we have inside ourselves and the, the vessel that we have, our body, ultimately will break down and will wear out and uh, that'll be that. But, you know, people rem will remember who we were. They will remember our essence. And I think that's an important thing to think about, that the legacy of who we are. It goes to our, our heart and our soul. So speaking of heart. I'm going to choose an oracle, Whispers of Love, for love. Like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. And that's the purpose of, you know, magnetism, we just attract, I, I, it's the truest thing, the law of attraction, like attracts like, and loving, kind, showing your love, giving your light is going to put you in a space where you're going to meet other people like that, and, uh, of course, it takes a, some work on your part. You have to leave the house. You have to put yourself in situations to meet people. And they have to witness and to see your truth and the love and the divine love that you have and the beauty of your heart and the beauty of your soul. And then you will find people who fit nicely within your life, who are um, uh, nice, complimentary, I would say complimentary. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It's just someone that inter is interlocking with you. It's just the right fit. It's a glove that fits. And uh, it's just uh, so many wonderful articles written about law of attraction, but like attracts like. So be a loving, good, kind person. Let your light shine. Let your love flow. Be aware 
be mindful and um, you know, let people see the true essence of your soul and of your heart and the beauty that you have within. So I wish you a wonderful week. I hope it's uh, enjoyable, peaceful, and very full of love. And I will see you again next week for another weekly Oracle reading. Take care. Bye-bye.